Hi, my name's Ed Zaworski with the ISU Plant Insect Diagnostic Clinic, and today we're going to look at a sample of bacterial leaf streak on corn. So I'm here in the dirty lab of the clinic where we initially take a look at all of our samples on these stainless steel benches. And uh, when I get a sample of corn that I suspect bacterial leaf streak, the first thing I do is I hold that leaf up to the light, look at it, and if I see these nice yellow margins that were not visible when I was holding it down, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a few diagnostic techniques to look for bacterial leaf streak. Now I'm here in the microscope room in the clinic and I'm going to cut a lesion to check for bacterial streaming. So when I cut a lesion, I want to put a drop of water here on my microscope slide and I'm going to place the piece of the lesion that I cut into the water and what's going to happen is the bacteria should flow from the cells of the lesion into that water and that's what we call bacterial streaming. And then we're going to look under the microscope to see if bacteria is streaming out of the lesion. So now I have my leaf that I cut on my compound microscope here. And on the screen here, you can see what the microscope is seeing. Uh, this is actually a picture of bacteria flowing from the lesion that we just cut. So that is our proof that we have bacterial streaming. So bacterial streaming is important because it tells us we have a bacteria and not a fungus. So at this point, we can either culture the bacteria or we can use PCR to identify what the bacteria is. Identifying a bacteria through cultural morphology can be kind of tricky because as you can see on this plate, there are multiple bacteria there. There's some small uh, whitish colonies and then some larger yellow colonies. So we have to pick from there which colonies we think are uh, the xanthomonas pathogen and further isolate them. PCR is oftentimes a faster method than looking at the cultural morphology because you don't have to grow the bacteria, you just have to extract the DNA. To do the PCR reaction we simply need to extract DNA from the bacteria and then compare it to a known control which we maintain here in the lab. There's two reasons why I think submitting samples for bacterial leaf streak are important. One is because we don't know a lot about this disease, so keeping track of where it is and positively IDing it can help us to learn more about it. And two, if you're thinking about spraying a fungicide, the difference between knowing if you have a bacterial disease and a fungal disease in gray leaf spot versus bacterial leaf streak could save you some money. All right, you ready? Yes. All right, we're ready. Now I'm here in the microscope room here in the... <laughs> Come on, man. We got... Dang old, dang old. <laughs>